When I saw this last night, tears just welled up in my eyes. Go to John 21 with it. I want to show you something. Just, it broke my heart. And I hope and pray that it'll touch you. This John 21. Go to verse 15. And just wait for us. We're going to start at verse 15. It's very familiar. But I want to show you something. The Holy Spirit, last night, I just had to stop and get my handkerchief. And just, oh God, I'd never seen it before. Verse 15, John 21. So when they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? More than the other disciples, he means. He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my lambs. That means in the King James has the correct one, feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, shepherd, or feed my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Be my sheep. Be my sheep. Now look at me. You know what we've thought of? You know how we've dealt with this scripture? He said, Go evangelize. Go teach the people. Go preach. <laughs> it's much more than that. Isn't Jesus Christ the bread, the living bread? Doesn't he feed us? Let me put it this way. There's some of you that, that I know that come to these meetings and you feed me. And you don't say a word. You've never preached to me. You've never witnessed to me. But you feed me. There's something about your countenance. You've been shut in with God. And there's a love for the word in you. And you sit and you drink it in. And I see Jesus in you. And seeing that, you feed me. It feeds something in me. It's a hope you give me. It's a joy. That's why Paul the Apostle, when he's writing to the church and they were overcoming, he said, you're my joy in the Lord. You're my life. You're feeding me. You feed something in me. I want to see people loving Jesus. And you feed that in me. I want to see people in the Word and you feed that in me. That hope, you feed me. There's some of you here, you feed me. Well, I love to be around you. They were just being around some of you. Feed me. You know what he's saying to uh, Peter? Peter, when you denied me, you already took something out of these men, your brother. You were a hope. You had such zeal. And when you failed, they were so cold and empty as a result of that. Now, I want you to love me so much that your love for me will be an example. You'll feed them. You'll be feeding their spirits. You know that Peter's been feeding me ever since? When I see Peter stand in front of the same priest who crucified Jesus, the same priest that once made him cower. He's standing before Annas and Caiaphas. He's standing before that same mob who crucified Jesus. And he ran from them. Now he's saying, they're saying, don't you dare preach in the name. He said, who are we to listen to man? I'm listening to God at the risk of his life. That feeds me. Peter's been feeding the world ever since. Oh yeah, you, I've had God say to me, it's not enough to protect the church the devil but to feed the sheep you can get a shepherd can get a whole flock of sheep in there and be so concerned about the enemy he doesn't feed them and they can be the most protected flock and starve them to death no it's not just security it's feeding Jesus you said if you love me feed my sheep feed Lord I want to feed my brothers and my sisters I want to love you more to the extent that you're not just first but you're everything that nothing in this world is going to hold me not my ministry not anything in this world that I would be shut in with you growing in the knowledge of, the, of your love and that you so consume my mind and my thoughts that when I'm around people they'll see Jesus and their hungry hearts will be fed Lord it's not so much what I've said this morning is the Spirit of the Lord that makes it real. Now, Holy Spirit, you gave this. Now, bless it. Let it bring forth fruit in our hearts. Let it bring forth fruits. Are you anxious to be one who feeds the sheep? Oh, it's not just the preacher in the pulpit. You're to feed the sheep.